It begins on a dark night. Look at this. You're not gonna find another girl like her in a million years. It's all so magical. Done it. I've never had fun. Sorry, right? That fez someday a boo. Okay, good morning, guys. We got into Abu Dhabi last night. Taylor went to bed at 4 p.m. I went to bed at 8 p.m. I think he slept 15 hours. I slept 10 hours. So the jet lag definitely hit us last night. But then I woke up this morning. I actually feel pretty good. I just needed a big, long sleep. And it was such a long travel day. I think it was like 21 hours in total to get here from LA. We're here for an exhibition tournament called World Tennis League. It's a mixed event, so it's male and female. There's four teams. It's a lot of top players, so it should be a really good event. I've never been to Abu Dhabi before. We're staying on Yaz Island, which is where the big Abu Dhabi F1 race is. So the whole circuit is actually right outside our hotel. This is the track and the marina. When I got in last night, I was like, this is so cool. The track is right outside our room. Little did I know they still have people driving on it right now, like race cars still driving on it. So when I was trying to fall asleep last night, I'd be like falling asleep in my half sleep. And then I would hear zoom. That just kind of happened all throughout the night. So I need to go get earplugs today so I can sleep through the night tonight. Taylor is on the way back from practice right now. And him and I are going to Ferrari World, which is sort of like a Six Flags. It's a theme park, has roller coasters, but it's all Ferrari themed. And they have the fastest roller coaster in the world that we're gonna go on. Taylor and I are big fans of roller coasters, so <laughs> pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a roller coaster. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Would you go on that one? Yeah. <laughs> roller coaster was indeed really fast before you get on the ride they tell you to keep your mouth shut because bugs will fly into it especially if you're in the first row and within those first few seconds I felt a bug my eye is twitching my eyes literally twitching just thinking about this I felt a bug smack my face the whole ride I'm just thinking about this dead bug that's on my face I can't move any of my limbs because we're going so fast can't do anything about it and then when I get off the ride I have to like smear bug guts off my face. Oh, it's so gross, but it was really fun. Like I said, Taylor and I love roller coasters. We've never really done them before. We've thought about going to Disneyland, but I have a curse with Disneyland, Disney World, or any Disney park in general, that every time, three times, guys, every time that I've gone to Disneyland or Disney World with a guy, like a boyfriend, we break up within two weeks. A year and a half ago, Taylor bought us tickets to Disneyland as a surprise. I actually made him cancel the tickets because I'm so superstitious about it at this point. Like three times, that is not a coincidence. I just got changed for the match. By the way, I don't even know why I'm putting this on this. Road peptide lip treatment. Road peptide lip treat. Road peptide lip tint peptide lip tint. It's the worst lip product I've ever tried and I'm so sad. I really wanted to like it. I wasn't able to try any of the skincare because I saw this stuff about how people were breaking out really bad from it and like I'm so acne prone that I didn't even want to risk it. So I was excited to try these. This was the first one that I tried and when I put it on, it's grainy. It literally feels like little grains of sand on my lips. Like it feels awful and it'll last five or ten minutes until my lips warm it up and basically melts these little balls of wax. I don't know. I hate it. Summer Fridays, they have, it's all the same shades basically for both, but this is much better. Anyways, I'm going to the match and then tonight there is a 50 cent concert at the tennis tournament, which is a very exhibition tennis tournament type thing to do, but someone with money. Pay 50 cent and then I think tomorrow is like a con. I was just about the pool eating lunch and I was sitting next to a group of his tour members and I struck up a conversation with his choreographer and he was like, oh, are you a fan of, of, of 50 cent? And I was like, oh my God, yeah, I was obsessed with him. I had a shirtless photo of him as my phone background for four years, which is true. It was this photo. Why did I say that? <laughs>
People always ask me how I deal with jet lag. It's 5.25 a.m. I'm at the gym. I've been up since 4.30, so I feel like at a certain point, you just have to embrace it. Either I will watch cartoons in bed, or I will just get up and start my day. And I decided to just come to the gym this morning, get off on a good start. This morning, I am going to the Grand Mosque here in Abu Dhabi based off photos. It looks like probably the most beautiful place that I've ever seen. I mentioned before, I'm not necessarily religious. I don't practice any certain religion, but I really like learning about different religions. When I go to Rome, I go to Catholic services. When I was in Vienna, I went to the Jewish Museum. Islam specifically, I actually was first introduced to through my grandma. Minnesota, where I'm from, has a lot of refugees and back in the 80s, my grandma started working with refugees in a town called Pelican Rapids. Initially, she started helping families and refugees from Vietnam in the 80s and then in like the early late 90s, the Somali civil war happened. There was a massive influx of Somali refugees into Minnesota. She realized a lot of them didn't have homes or they were sleeping on like chairs in basements. So when I was growing up, she would basically take in and feed and take care of these young Somali boys that had come in as refugees. And she did this for about 20 years. Islam is the dominant religion in Somalia. And she passed away in 2016. Basically the entire Somali population in Pelican Rapids Rapids came to her funeral and partially hosted a Islamic funeral for her. I guess it's something that they basically never do for anybody who doesn't necessarily practice the faith. It's a really beautiful religion. I have never been to a mosque before, so I'm really excited to go and check it out. I ordered this abaya. I actually got it off Etsy. It's really pretty. And I got this maxi dress, long sleeve, but it's a lot more sheer than I thought. So I think when I get there, I'll probably have to buy something to go under this. And then I'll also have to get a headscarf. I wanted to do all white and I thought this silk one was so pretty. And then it has these little tie sleeves. This is Deanna. Hi. She was helping me get dressed for the mosque because my dress is too sheer, so I have to put something underneath the abaya. Yes. And then wear a headscarf. that I've been in the whole world. This is by far, by far the most beautiful one that I've ever been to. When I first got here, my breath was taken away. Pictures and video probably just don't even do it justice. I can't walk past the Tim Hortons and not get a donut. I got a pistachio ice latte, which I've never tried before. It's actually pretty good. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm reading this book, which I don't think I've ever posted something that I'm reading and had so much feedback and commentary about it. Mostly people warning me about what this book will do to me. Where am I at right now? I'm on page 191. Nothing has seriously harmed my emotional being yet but apparently it is just a very heartbreaking book but i know pretty much everyone has watched the holiday at some point in the last couple of weeks that scene when cameron diaz is like trying to force herself to cry at her desk that is me i have not had a good cry like sometimes i'll like tear up at a tiktok or something but like i can't cry right now and maybe I should just talk to my therapist about this but I don't know I'm feeling like I want something that is going to give me a good cry and from what I've heard this book will do it that being said if it is too much for me I will just stop reading it because I don't think it's worth putting myself into another depression spiral right now to finish it but I'll keep you guys posted what I think about it I'm gonna try to finish it when I'm in Perth next week because I feel like I'll be at the beach a lot. Once I finish this one, 
then I'm going to read this, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, which this has been on my reading list for so long. I've heard so many good things about it. Just kind of like a classic, but I wanted to start my 2024 with something that was like, uh, I don't know, motivational, informational. On the back of it, it is self-proclaimed the best-selling success book of all time. I'm looking forward to it. It'll probably be a good, a good break from this one. I am at the pool on the roof and it's completely empty. Every time that I have come up here, there's been no one here, but the food is really good. So I got this salmon rice bowl and it has this mango salsa that they put on top of it. And it is like so good. I was just on my way back up from the pool there was a poster that the hotel is having an adoption fair for rescue animals out in the little courtyard here so obviously I have to go Taylor's at his match right now I didn't go today and I'm really sad because I know he would really really want to go with me but it's only open for an hour I'm hanging out with one of the little rescues she's such a pretty girl <laughs> Christmas in UAE. morning I came to the Louvre and you're probably like Morgan the Louvre's in Paris yes but they also have a Louvre here in Abu Dhabi it is the biggest extension of the main museum that's in Paris and it is stunning this was probably the most recommended thing to me from people on Instagram when people saw that I was coming here and it did not disappoint this part of the museum is a giant dome so this architecture is everywhere in Abu Dhabi I don't know what exactly it means, but it is everywhere. It's outside our hotel. There's a lot of glass domes here. I should look up what exactly the cause of that is. Came early and brought my tripod to try to get content here because Taylor's practicing this morning and they don't allow tripods in the museum. So I just asked a very nice couple to take content for me and the husband showed out. He is a well-trained Instagram husband. So I got some really nice photos. It's kind of dark, but this pool here there's like this walkway and that's kind of the iconic Instagram spot here. You also can rent kayaks and kayak along all the water that surrounds the museum. I've also been walking around listening to my solo date at a museum playlist on Spotify, which I will link below because it just enhances the whole experience. museum it was so pretty I went really early this morning and when I go to museums super early I will run basically through the whole museum and start at the back and work my way forwards because then I have usually at least like 30 to 45 minutes of pretty much all empty exhibits and empty galleries which is just a very very pleasant way to enjoy a museum I'm editing some photos for some brand deal stuff that I have to post between Christmas and New Year's. Taylor and I are going to this desert safari excursion this afternoon, which I'm really excited for. I think it should be fun. <laughs> Basically in the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland right now. <laughs> Is a little crazy. Is it? Really? Yeah. I get her. No. Look at these little footprints. I don't know. We're gonna sandboard on the dune for the first time. Have you ever been sandboarding before? I haven't either. I've been wanting to do this. I'm scared you're gonna get injured. I kind of don't want you. Can you just ride down on your boat? I'll be like, I'll, I'll be like, safe. Mm, okay. I'll be guys. 
see uncoordinated people do this all the time and not get hurt, so. <laughs> okay, this is like steep though. Huh? Ooh, I'm scared. I have never broken a bone before. I've gotten stitches twice, but only when I got my holes removed because I was always a very anxious child and I never put myself in any sort of dangers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can do it. but I just have like a layer of sand all over my face. You definitely can see it on Taylor. Let me see. I feel like it's like not, oh no it is, I feel it. It's like in my beard. Like the best oh my god. What? Oh my god, what? What? Oh, you wanna get Boba? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, not right now. No. Huh? Oh. Okay, fine. I'm hungry. <laughs> We just got to the airport to fly to Perth from Abu Dhabi. I forgot to do my Australian visa, which I was supposed to do weeks ago. I had a full Menti B in the airport and had to apply for it. And luckily the approval is usually pretty quick, but we almost missed our flight by like five minutes. <laughs> it was really bad. It was really, really, really bad. <laughs> 